it's my birthday and I'm here chilling at one of our lakes and ironically I drove past my middle school which no longer exists it no longer exists because it was torn down uh, and it's a new facility is being rebuilt uh, dedicated to the former principal of that facility um, amazing woman she was my principal when I got to high school but what's funny is that my middle school used to be this town's only high school and so it went from being a high school to then a middle school uh, to being torn down and now a new facility is being rebuilt um, dedicated to the Aurelia Cole Foundation I believe is what it's called um, and so it's, it's just interesting because today's topic is middle school essentially and how difficult it was for me school in general is just very difficult for me um, I struggled to make friends I had issues uh, learning. I was in different special classes. I was in ESC classes and I had a lot of anxiety surrounding those things. Um, having different schedule than all the other kids. And when you're in my elementary school and then even more so in middle school, like kids are mean. Kids are mean. So I had a very difficult time. It's uh, the end of August. So school in my area has been in session for about like three weeks or so. And these bugs. I decided to come to the lake. Um, school's been in session, like I said, about three weeks, and it's drawn up a lot of like emotions and feelings um, because I have family members that have entered middle school this year, and I, and I had a talk with them. I wanted them to understand that middle school is hard. It's different. It's y'all are going through so many emotions. You're going through hormones your bodies are changing like so many things are happening while your brains are changing during that time and it's so difficult to process and even understand anything that's coming at you and so to add in the mix of like anxieties that you may have surrounding that or struggles at home or anything anything else that you can imagine I can't think right now because I have bugs flying at me like I said school was difficult for me especially in middle school um, but a lot of these anxieties I felt stemmed from early on um, and being in different classes from first grade on having to repeat the second grade because my mom didn't think I was ready which in hindsight it probably wasn't I mean today's my birthday and I still struggle with dyslexia and comprehension and having to I have to reread things or I have to be told something a different way like I ask questions like crazy I'll go to five different people and ask the same question but I, I'm trying to find a different answer, a better answer that I understand. And so school is always difficult. And to add in kids, like I said, they're mean. Um, add in teachers that are more, they, I've had very rough times. I've been abused physically um, by, by teachers, by people of authority in the educational public school system. So I have stories there and I have traumas there and so when you already have trouble learning and you get a, a tutor and that tutor doesn't show up or that tutor just makes you feel bad for not understanding it's just it, you retract I remember when I was a kid I was probably in second grade and I had a lot of classes in a different room with a different teacher who I still speak to uh, to this day not as much as I would like I'm not sure that's probably on my part it's on my part um, oh my god this squirrel's got a large nut in its mouth but there were times when I didn't want to go to school on Tuesdays and I would make an excuse and try to stay home on Tuesdays and say I didn't feel good or try to leave early I, I, I tried to just not be there because on Tuesdays my regular class that I was in that I was assigned to but never in had computer classes and I didn't want to go I didn't want to go because I knew kids were gonna ask me where I was at why am I coming in late where have I been and these questions I didn't want to answer because I was already ashamed and I was already made fun of for having a learning disability another anxiety that had recently got me a little emotional just like 
uh, rehashing it with my partner, just explaining and talking about it. It got me emotional. The first day of school was always difficult for me, especially when I got to middle school, um, because I struggled to make friends. I am a very introverted person, and I was made fun of a lot. So like when you, you're made fun of by teachers and educators and you're made fun of your classmates, like you can't win. Like what kind of shit is that? And so well, the first day of school was always very difficult for me. What's up, bird? Because I didn't know where I was gonna sit at lunch. I know that sounds like so pathetic, I guess. Um, but for someone that struggled to make friends, that had friends and made, really made them feel like, I, I, can't even, I can't even put into words. Like, I guess I'm still not over it. I guess I'm still not over the fact that you can play with, you can hang out with me and engage with me on a daily basis every day after school, but then the minute we get to school, I become no one to you. You, I then am on the receiving end of your bullying because you were friends with the main person who bullied me in fifth grade. And then it just like, middle school was traumatic. Because, but think, you know, I'm grateful that I joined band because I then found a family within the band community itself. Um, and if I didn't have band, I don't, I'm not sure. There's a lot of things that I wish I was forced to do as a kid. Like, you know, I, I really wish I did other extracurricular activities or I or that parts of my personality and were nurtured, but they weren't. And so that's not anything that I, you know, those are things that I'm, I'm working through and getting over and it is what it is because now I'm, I'm thriving and I'm doing exactly what I want to do and where I'm supposed to be and there's no sense in being sad about what what didn't happen what you didn't get in summation I I really wish I had someone around to tell me that middle school is going to be hard but that you'll get through it and to remember to just be kind, to be kind. Because kids are all assholes at that age. Yep. But you know what, that's impactful and that leaves an imprint on people. So if you're someone that was mean to someone in middle school, I need you to reach out. I need you to, to make that connection. I need you to pretend to apologize. Whether they need it or not, do it for you too. Because if you were a little asshole and you were mean to people, I, I really hope you're doing better now in life. I hope your life is amazing and you're doing fantastic and you have everything you want. But still, I need you to do it. I need you to tell your kids that middle school is hard and to be nice, to be kind, to just be a better person. Because you're dealing with so much and I, I wish I had that. I wish I had someone older than me telling me, hey, here's some advice. It's unsolicited, but here it is, because that's what I did to my cousins. I said, listen, whether you pay attention to this now, or it goes in one ear and out the other, but just know that middle school is hard. Kids are mean, it's tough, hormones are going, you're, there's a lot of changes happening and you're going through a lot, but just remember to be nice and kind and remember that if someone's not nice or kind to you, that maybe something more is happening. Maybe maybe ha see that as an opportunity for you to ask them if they are okay. And if they continue to be mean, then protect your space because it's important. And so that's all I gotta say. It's my birthday. I'm gonna go continue to have a great day and I'm gonna get out of here because I got ants crawling on me. So if you are into it, you like what you hear, I would love for you to stick around. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell uh, so you're notified whenever I upload because it's kind of sporadic. It is what it is. So stick around and remember, growth happens one thorn at a time.